there, everyone. By the time you're watching this, we're already probably maybe on our way back to, you know, back here because we're going, we're going, we're going to uh, Illinois to watch uh, to watch the eclipse happen. They are, anyways. Don't huh? say where specifically. <laughs> well, no, no, I'm not gonna do that. I well, even if I did, like the place is huge. It's a big mm-hmm. city. There's still a good chance that if it's a big city area, somebody will find y'all that recognizes you. Yeah, maybe, but... It's okay, like, if we're, when they're, we're there and live streaming, but, like, right now, I don't want somebody to, like... No, 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 no. I understand. But in terms of where we're going, uh, it's going to be in the path of it, and we're going to be experiencing the eclipse for around five minutes, I believe, is what is what they were estimating. I thought it was six minutes. I can't remember. I've looked up the I looked mm. up the stats a few times, but it changes every now and again. But overall, we are going to be experiencing it, and it'll be the second time that we've live streamed from an eclipse because we did back in 2017, and now we're doing it again here in 2024. Yay! And yeah, it's it's going to be a heck of a trip, but I'm looking forward to it. And also, it it's just it's just cool to experience things in life like that. And that, that's why I'm very excited. But I'm just staying here at the house and taking care of the pets. Yeah, so, Nick. Yeah. Nick's being the responsible one. Yeah, somebody's got to somebody's got to be the one to hold down the fort, and we appreciate that very much. Thank you. But yeah, I am very excited to see what's going to happen with the eclipse. But uh, by the time this comes out, you all have probably already watched that live stream, or the live stream is currently going on. I don't know. But, yeah, I guess uh, we can go ahead and jump on into this. This is uh, Idiots in Cars, number 99. Figured while Kate was uh, enjoying some delicious Chick-fil-A, uh, her penultimate meal before we, uh, before we go off on our trip, uh, we, would, uh, we would sit here and watch some stuff that's entertaining uh, enough that it'd be good enough for her to watch and eat at the same time. She wouldn't have to worry about trying not to laugh or worrying about laughing too much. Instead, it's just good old-fashioned stupid people in cars doing stupid things. I love watching these videos. Oh, I do too. And the last one we did was actually fairly successful. And um, we actually did that one without you, Kate. And I was just like, I was like, oh, man, I wish Kate were here for this. You did it without me. Yeah. How could you? I know, I know. I feel, I feel so guilty. I'm torn up Awful about it. Awful people. No, I know. We're, we're the worst. Anywho, you know who else is the worst? The drivers in these videos. <laughs> so let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, this is Idiots in Cars number 99. Here we go. It's green and... Dumb ass. Damn. Way to go, dummy. Way to go. Oh no! What that, in the fuck? Okay, that dude, that dude in the silver truck is the asshole. That dude in the silver truck's the asshole. I mean, no doubt about that. Never fails. Every single one of these videos, there's people driving way too fast in snowy conditions. Yeah, mm-hmm. but this right here, like, dude, you missed your exit. Get over it. Go down to the next one. Turn around. Yeah. Don't don't fuck up traffic because he you're. He's probably on his phone. Oh yeah, probably. That's exactly. Right here. Like, dude, I don't care how good you can drive in snowy conditions. Your distance to stop when it's snowy like that, like fucking quadruples. And that's exactly why you hit them. No. No, they pulled out. No, this person pulled out. You would have been able. I know they weren't supposed to pull out right there, but you would have been able to prevent yourself from hitting them if you weren't Mm -hmm. driving so fast in the snow. Maybe, but at the same time, the person in the car driving is not the one at fault. This one's the one at fault. And then there's another thing, which is that guy could easily, I know it wasn't the case, but that could be someone coming to a stop at an intersection, and because of the snow, they can't fully stop. Well, no, so they're like you're not here. You're not driving, yeah, I know, but it could be someone coming to the stop at the intersection, and they might not be able to stop, which is why you should be going a bit slower in the snow, because it's not defensive driving if you're going that fast. Mm-hmm. I agree. If someone else does come up to an intersection coming out onto your road, and then they slide into the road, 
Like, you're not going to be able to prevent from hitting them. Well. It may not be your fault necessarily, but if you fucking slowed down a little bit. Maybe, but, oh well. It just irks me to see people driving fast when it's sunny. Blind spots. That's okay. That's that idiot's fault. Yep. Person in the in the sedan. They didn't check their blind spot before they tried to merge. Yep. Oh. Oh, a it's runaway good. a runaway Amazon car or Amazon van, really? Or no, it's a it's, no. or is that just a sprinter van? Damn. Oh, these are police chasing this guy in the van, I think. Yeah, Florida Highway Patrol. Yeah, he's trying to pit maneuver the van. Against a vehicle that size, you like you would need like one of those like tire lockup devices. You'd be surprised, oh see? snap! If you get them right. Oh got him. Or did he get him? Yeah, he definitely spun him around. I just don't know if he's still going behind him or not. I think he is. By the way, he's still going. I'm assuming he's still going behind him right now. No doubt. Yep. Oh. There he is again. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Ah. Uh, he's trying to pull off the front oh, end. Shit. Oh god. Oh, that's not a good sound. His front tire's probably fucked. Yeah. Yeah. He's. I think he's gonna be out of the chase. Oh. Well, I would say after a couple more hits, he probably will be. Oh no, he's done. He's pulling over. Yeah, Whoa! Holy, Holy fuck! Jesus oh Christ! God. Are they okay? The person in the driver's seat might be dead. That cop. That broke cop's his lucky, leg. man. Wait, his legs are probably broken. But watch the debris. Look, he hits. The cop's leg is, yeah. Cop's look, leg, look, like, feet yeah, is probably look broken. How he's, yeah, he the car lands. actually pushed him away from it. He didn't dive away. He got pushed away by yeah. the car. Yeah. Oh, his leg. Yeah, his yeah. legs. Oh, his legs look hurt. His, yeah. Oh, that's not good. And he gets up and he runs off. But that's mm. adrenaline, probably. Yeah. Like, the adrenaline's Damn. kicked in. I guarantee he's going to get back to his car sit down and as soon as like the adrenaline wears off the pain's gonna set in that's gonna suck no what he's probably gonna do is go back to his car and call for help and no I, well, of course that's people. that's the number one thing you do yeah i mean he's gonna probably phone into the radio he's got on him as soon as like as soon as he's you know collects his thoughts but yeah. that right there dude uh, mm -hmm. i hope the driver's all right i hope they didn't have anybody in the back i hope so why it sketches me that cops pull people over on the side of the freeway oh the time oh, 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 shit. Damn. Yeah, it's in Australia. Oh no, we got him down! And he crashed! You idiot. In a Corvette? But, mm. Oh! You fucked up, Obi. I bet his parents paid for it. Oh, no doubt. I guarantee he crashed that one, went home. He's like, Mom, I broke the Corvette. Yeah. Can you get me another one? If he bought it, he wouldn't be doing that shit. No. Okay, asshole! Oh. Asshole! God damn it. It's a double what yellow lane! Fuck? It's a double yellow line, fuckface! <laughs> Sorry. I just imagine 
driving and saying what I'm saying right now. Same. <laughs> oh shit, you slid. Mm. Oh, you took that turn too fast, brother. Motherfucker. Stupid. Could have been worse. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, you idiot! What is your problem? Don't stop on the freaking. No! Oh, just go through! Okay, yeah, at that point, I'm stopping that person over here, and I'm literally just being like, public endangerment, obstruction, and not only that, but you're just being. Like, okay. I'm generally being a dumbass. Suspended. Yeah, you, your license is suspended for six months because you're a danger to yourself and everyone else around you. Mm -hmm. Because you obviously do not know how to listen and you do not know what what the hell you're doing. Jesus, man. Jesus. Why are they all filming the train, though? Uh, some people are train heads. They, you know, like. Or, they call themselves railheads, I believe. Basically, old trains are like classic trains that aren't being in use anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they're being cycled out. Like, there's some that pay attention to those. Like, for my dad, like the CSX diesels that they used to use. He all showed the time. us some cool videos at um, yeah. Granny Shirley's house. Yeah. He was showing Case, and I was sitting beside Case. Yeah. Dad, Dad's really proud of the work that he does, and he's really good at it. But the CSX diesels that they have, they're going to be phasing them out here soon. And those old school diesels are what built the company, like, over the last 20, 30 years. Mm -hmm. So. And here we have an idiot passing on a double yellow. Yep. With a car stopping in front of him, so. Wow. <laughs> you deserve that. <laughs> you didn't get very far, <laughs> didn't you, dude? Nope. <sighs> The only time, pause it for a second, the only time that that's warranted, like, you passing, is if there's an accident. Like, and there's nobody yeah. coming the other way. Yeah. You know? Or if there's construction or whatever, and they are waving you to go. Yeah. But, Which we've been having to deal with that a lot. Yeah. God. Never ending. Idiot. He must be from Tennessee, because that's all that people do around here is pull out in front of people, damn it. Yeah, and Kentucky. <laughs> um, ass. Fucking A. Don't, don't merge too quickly. Yep, I can see what's going to happen. Yep, I can see, yep. yep. Fucking idiot! They can't, they can't stop. That's the thing, yeah, because that's, that's They will tons, literally tons. run, I mean, their brakes will get out, go out. Yep. Yes. If they try to hit it too hard. Yeah, that is literally tons and tons of metal and, like, merchandise, potentially, depending yeah. on There's a lot of morons that don't understand that about big trucks. You need to pass with at least 100 feet. That's the minimum. The bare minimum is at least 100 feet. Yet, in yet again, though, the truck was in their blind spot. They didn't check their fucking blind spot, and they decided to go over into the fucking exit ramp. From but the how do you not see that in the rearview mirror? Because you, he's in the blind they spot. They would at least Side see the mirror. trailer. Yeah. But my, my deal is right here. If I'm this dude, and I'm looking over here to try and get over into, like, exit 37 right here, I'm literally speeding up a little bit, like five, ten miles an hour. Yeah, he could have sped up and got around Getting at least two or three them. bars ahead of the truck. There was also no turn signal, so, you know, yeah. a fucking mm -hmm. turn signal. Uh, uh, I agree with this truck driver. <laughs> fucking idiot! <laughs> well deserved. I was just laughing because you could hear him yell, fucking idiot! Because <laughs> yeah. he's right. Right for yourself. Lay it on the horn, man. Sorry. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, stupid, stupid! Uh, <laughs> karma's a bitch. Oh, yep. Hey, well done, Jethro. Good so luck getting good clearly, luck getting towed out of that bitch. Clearly the road is probably icy right now. Like, mm -hmm. No doubt. Don't be a dickhead. Sorry. 
Sometimes it says where they are, but sometimes it doesn't. So. Yeah, right here. I guarantee this is in Wisconsin. This guy who's driving right now, he's going to be like, hey, it looks like you went through the intersection a little too heavy there, eh, bud? Mm -hmm. Can you set that over there? I'll get it. going to say, it's like, like, tell you what, if uh, you apologize, I'll give you a tow out Thank of you. the, uh, I'll tow you out of the snow there, bud. He's like, he's like, I ain't apologizing. You're the one who's like, all right, man, enjoy freezing Have to death. Have a nice day. Enjoy, free, enjoy freezing to death Running out here. Running out of gas with your heater on. Nobody yep. else is coming out. Exactly. <laughs> I was no, gonna say, you want me to call the emergency okay. services? This sauce smells delicious, and I'm hungry. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you want me to call the emergency services to come out here for you? Go fuck yourself! All right, yeah, yeah. I'll see you at Christmas. <laughs> oh, little Star Fox. Hey. <laughs> <gasps> Look out! Oh. Look out, Fox! Do a barrel roll. Or don't. That'd be bad. Wow. Oh! Oh, that trailer! Wow. Ooh, trailer took that dude's front end off. Rewind it. Yeah. Are you sure it was the trailer? Yeah. Yeah, um, right they, there. Yeah, they ran into it, though. Yeah. Mm. That they were yeah, the... watching. Oh, man. Wow. Well done, They almost Dougie. hit the person that was filming. Yeah. Dude's whole front end is gone. The front mm. fender, the bumper, the grill... Oh. Congratulations. Here's your sign. What is that? Whoa! How uh, the fuck did he put all the washing machines on the back? I know we've put quite a bit of, bit of stuff in the bed of Nate's truck before, but it's never been no. quite like that. No! <laughs> it's like the leaning tower of washing machines. It's like the leaning tower of, like, <laughs> leaning tower of scrap metal. Jesus. This is really fucking happening. Wait, there is isn't. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, they are washing machines, aren't they? Yeah, and Someone's toilets. Someone's going to get rear-ended. Rear <gasps> Uh-oh. Oh! Yep. Called it. Oh, my gosh. That's what makes me so nervous whenever there's construction. Oh, my God. Oh! Holy shit. I would, I would literally I would mm. cry. Yes. It I would, would too. I would, oh my gosh! I could yeah, not anytime people that. are stopped on the freeway, and a lot of the times it pisses me off because then I get up ahead just to find out they mostly fucking stop because they're morons, not because anything was actually stopping people. Yeah. But uh, dude, have you see that? One? Skeezes me out because I'm like, please don't hit me. Whoever's behind me, please don't. I always stopped? give like to a, a car length at least when there's traffic stopped and I always make sure to watch the people behind me and like tap my brakes to make sure they know I'm stopped. Yeah. Because I'm terrified of getting rear-ended. I am. Because well, of yeah, that. I've been, well, I've been rear-ended before and the dude ran. I remembered like I pulled oh over. I was trying to be nice. I, I pulled over. Guy pulls into the road like you act like he's going to pull in behind me. Instead, he guns it down the road and by, by the time I like get back in my car and like try to start my car up, all of a sudden, traffic lets loose and like. And he they, didn't and stop. No, you one, couldn't yeah. get him. No. Nope. Did you get his license plate? Nope. Damn. Uninsured, uninsured motorist uh, claim is what I had to file because don't know if the driver had insurance or not. And an uninsured motorist claim, I had to fork over. I think it was like three hundred dollars. So, yeah. Why do we pay for insurance when? I mean, what is insurance for? Like, if they want to make your rates go up when you have an accident, that makes no Even sense. Even when I wasn't at fault, my rate still went up. Yeah, that's so I got rear-ended, and my rate went up like 20 bucks. That's so stupid. You ain't kidding. Eek. <laughs> yep, another case Are you going to run? That you, proves... You going to run like a bitch? Point. Of course you're going to oh, run like a yeah. bitch. He's running away. Wow. Whoa. Oh, wow. Wow. AT wheel. Oh wow, it's spitting water. Yeah, it's, uh, he he can't yeah. get. I don't think he'll make it through. That's not good. Why would you do that? Oh shit! He, I think he's gonna make it. <laughs> it's like spitting water out heavy, dude. Oh. Wow. <laughs> No car got way. completely just submerged. The driver of that car is just sitting over there watching the truck go by like... 
<laughs> if if he were like sitting up on the hood of his car, just sitting there for rescue, just like looking at the truck going by, just being like, should have been a fucking truck driver, man. If you were me, I would have fucking jumped onto the hood of the truck as it went by off the yeah. top of my car. Yeah. Uh, it's like, oh hey, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Next um, thing you see is like a life preserve out the side of the window. Or yeah, something. Just, just, just the ring. Yeah, just the old like like it used to be on ships. And a rope. Yeah, just be like here, bud, grab on. I'll reel you in like a like a largemouth bass. Yep. Once I get to the other side. Yep. You'll be all good. He fucked up his engine though. He didn't. Oh yeah, that that trucker's probably gonna have to like remove He's the water. Gotta make his quota though. Well, yeah. But guarantee you, he's probably gonna like open up the valves and just like, like run air through and like get all get all the water out. Cause the last thing you want is like, is like water winding up inside your like diesel tank. You yeah. Know, Cause that ain't good. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so uh, yeah, <laughs> those are some pretty uh, pretty def- you know definitive idiots in cars, wouldn't you say? Yep. So yeah, uh, lesson learned, everybody. Don't be a dingus. Don't be like these idiots. Be smart. Be S smart. You get that reference. And give yourself enough distance to stop when it snows. Yes. Or don't drive in the I mean, snow if places, your car cannot handle it. Some places up north, they don't have a choice. Yeah. <laughs> it snows like literally like 50% of the year. Yeah. It's like I talked to people from Canada, like from the Yukon, and they're just like, don't go out driving while it's snowing. It's like, well, okay, I just won't drive then. Because it literally True. snows all the time up there. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Anywho, that is going to do it. So, thank you all very much for tuning in. This was Idiots and Cars, number 99. Hopefully you enjoyed. And uh, anything else y'all need to add or want to say? All right. Till next time, everyone. I'm Nate. I'm Kate. I'm Nick. Y'all be good people. Take care. Bye-bye.